Happy weekend! <laughs> I feel like I had one of those weeks where I was just painfully dragging myself through. I felt very uninspired, very sluggish, just low energy. I was just not feeling like myself this week. I'm gonna hopefully get back into the group of things this week. My friend Katie, which is also Wa's cousin, she's coming over with her girlfriend and we're gonna watch Umma. So I'm really excited to watch it. And yeah, I'm gonna go out to grab some snacks, I guess, for us so that we have some stuff to munch on during the movie. Thought I'd bring you guys along with me this weekend and do nothing. Today's actually the first time I curled my hair ever since I got a haircut. I've been wearing my hair in that like, you know, voluminous blowout hairstyle. If you missed it on my IG reel, I did post a quick like one minute IG reel tutorial on how I do it. A lot of you are asking me what I asked my hairstylist. So I just asked for untextured, chunky, thick layers because I naturally don't have very thick hair. I will say with the chunky layers though, if you don't style your hair, it does lay very flat because it's very heavy. It's definitely not a hairstyle that you wanna just not style and go out because it can look very heavy and just flat and choppy so i do like to give it that blowout look and i overall really really like this haircut if you guys are in la area i'll tag my stylist here her name is christine and her instagram is phases i feel like going on a little adventure by myself today so while i was at home he was watching a movie with me but he fell asleep i love just driving around the town and being alone and listening to music in my car. Is that just me? I really, really enjoy this. And I've grown to enjoy this because in my early 20s, Juan and I were like two peas in a pod, always attached to the hip, did everything together. And I think it was actually the pandemic that made me really value solitude and just time alone because we are already spending so much time together. So I really enjoy these times when I go out and run errands on my own and listen to music in the car, sing in the car. Hope this vlog is gonna be entertaining. I'm just gonna vlog what I do over the weekend, which is probably a lot of nothing. <laughs> oh, I did want to talk to you guys about my lashes. These lashes I got from an Asian beauty store. I think, if I can remember the store name, I'm gonna link it here. Isn't that so, so cute? And I'm also wearing brown eyeliner. I feel like it just looks super, super subtle and natural compared to black. It's so, so natural and super cute. This is what I'm here for. So Michi's blood work came back and she has low iron and our nutritionist for her suggested that we can get her some liver snacks and treats. Hey Google, pause music. So yesterday I told you that I was gonna show you the lashes that I'm wearing. So this is the brand. The brand is Dolly Wink. I have it in style number 17. It has a crisscross pattern. You know how we're normally taught to put lashes on top of our own natural lashes a really really natural way of wearing lashes is to actually put this in your waterline you put the glue on and then you will tilt upwards it's kind of hard using the viewfinder as a mirror but you would pop the lash in your waterline like so and then you just push it in i thought i need to use the actual mirror you want to make sure you're waiting for the glue to get tacky so that that way 
none of the wet glue is actually getting into your eye. I think it just gives it overall much softer look. Um, I still like black uh, lashes and liner at times, but when I'm just at home, it's nice to have a softer look. sets from Dear Wildflowers. I love them so much. I use them every day. In case you guys missed it, we did launch this one. This was our most recent launch and it is our flower stamp set. In this stamp set, we have 29 different floral stamps that you can use. So another launch that we had, which I am also very, very excited about, is our own stamp block. And this size will fit all of the stamps in our stamp set collections. This is what it looks like. It's just an acrylic stamp block. We also launched new colors, or just one color actually, but we now have it in a bundle. It's from the brand Ranger. These stamps are amazing. They are non-toxic, they're permanent. So I really love these. And I have the color coffee, olive, library green and then jet black so you can find this as a bundle on our website or you can also buy them individually if you don't want every single color maybe we'll use this one I haven't used this one yet so you just take the stamp out this is like a silicone so it will naturally stick to the acrylic stamp block as you can see it's sticking and you just use your stamp pad and then you can stamp with it. Ta -da! Isn't that so precious? This stamp set is $12, which I think is such a good value. This I bought at the flea market and this was like five bucks. And in here you have 29 stamps for $12. I didn't have oyster sauce, so it's not the same, but not bad. I just did soy sauce, uh, white pepper powder, black pepper, and sesame oil. Okay, okay, okay. TV and my mom is playing with my arms and maybe she will consider to bring oh. me on a car ride
to find a way to tell myself it's fine. I already have the Stanley 40 ounce thirst quencher, but then I see this here. I really like it. It's all white, and I like that there's this handle on top. I mean, you do need two water bottles, right? There's also this pink color. I like this pink too. Wow. <laughs> it's a mess. Can't think Living her best life. <laughs> My face is gonna be so puffy tomorrow morning. <laughs> I had McDonald's and then all this. <laughs> These are pretty good. This one is mildly sweet, so it's not as sweet as the usual ones, and I really like it. I taste more of the cookie. Normally, I feel like it's just a lot of the cream flavor. Let me just stare at my cookie. <laughs> Mm. You cannot eat Oreos. Okay, we are gonna end the night with a little bit of this new face microcurrent thing. I've only been consistently using it for maybe one week now. I use it every night and I don't know if it's really making much of a difference in anything. It's basically supposed to help with wrinkles, fine lines, lift, all sorts of good things. I think they said on their website that it takes about three months for you to see noticeable results, although some people see it on their first use. I think it does feel really nice. For me, I started using this because I mainly wanted to see if it would help lift my face. I have a very, very oval kind of square face. Like, would you guys consider my face oval? or square, I don't, I don't know. I have a pretty long face as well and my jaw area is very large and square. Thanks, dad. And I feel like as I'm aging, the volume or the gravity is starting to slowly take the volume down here. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it, I don't know. So this area of my face I feel like feels kind of heavier and I have a very flat cheekbone area. So, I don't know if this is gonna help lift everything up. That's the goal, that's the hope. Everything takes time, so I just have to be patient. You're supposed to go with the beep, but right now because I'm talking, I'm very distracted, so I'm not going with the beep. Okay, well anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this lazy weekend vlog. Take care, and I will see you soon. Bye!